name is Ari Rip. I originally studied chemistry and philosophy, but then I moved into social issues of science and technology with what's called chemistry and society, science and society. And that's the reason why, uh, how I sort of got into my position in Twente as professor of uh, philosophy of science and technology. And that's also the reason why I'm involved in um, technology assessment, uh, responsible research and innovation, and all those topics. One of my sort of convictions at the moment, but I have reasons for these convictions, is that RRI actually at the top level is mostly like a fashion. So it's become popular for an in crowd. Uh, it has its own jargon, like this acronym RRI, which people who are inside know and understand, but people outside, they wouldn't realize what RRI was. Um, so that's, at that level, I think it is a fa like a fashion and it might disappear again. At least it will disappear from the agenda with the European Commission in another three or five years. Um, it's not necessary, but it's a real possibility. But then, by the time that might happen, there will have been all sorts of effects at the other levels where people sometimes refer to RRI in Brussels, or even if they don't refer, they do these kinds of things under other names, um, but they can reinforce them by referring to our, or other people might refer to RRI. And so the net effect is that even if the fashion is over, there will be residues of the fashion which have created new things, which will continue to survive. And that's not necessarily because uh, RRI is such a great thing that everybody wants it. Uh, lots of people don't want it because it's an extra burden on them. But still, there is acceptance of these kind of things because uh, of what I call, and other people have called, uh, a social license to operate. So that a firm, or firms in general, need a, nowadays a social license to operate. Not just the fact that they produce for a market and can sell their stuff. They have to be actually sort of legitimate in what they're doing for larger segments of society, not just consumers who buy their products. That's an element of it. And so one indicator of that need is the whole notion of corporate social responsibility, which is its, its own kind of thing. But that's become prevalent uh, particularly big firms are into that and that's because they need a social license to operate. And, but similar things happen with government agencies. So a Ministry of Economic Affairs or Trade and Industry, whatever the name is, might want to do more about responsible research and innovation because they're a bit concerned that there might be public reaction against new technologies that they're funding or pushing, like biotechnology with the GM controversy, like nanotechnology where I was involved a little bit. So the social license to operate is not a positive, uh, necessarily a positive reason for doing something about RRI, but it's like almost an insurance. That if you do RRI and at an early stage, then you're insured against the main risks of becoming non-accepted or non-acceptable.